On the Retro Show today, old news. Do you like some chicken? Or my Space Invader. Retro memes. <laughs> Unboxings. Okay. Uh, there's a Willy rifle. <laughs> oh, thank God I have my stethoscope. <gasps> your homebrewed project. You get a terminal with ChatGPT and your nostalgic photos. Welcome to the, the Retro, Retro Show. Show. Yes, you yes, can have a treat. Yeah. No, you're not late. This is episode 28. Oh, okay. hello, Chip Dippers. <laughs> hello. Welcome to The, the Retro, Retro Show. Show. And speaking of late, you know what else is late? What is? Old news. Oh, no. Yeah, that's old, that's news. old news. That'll be old news. <laughs> and first up in old news, <gasps> can you guess what this is? Uh, it's obviously a chicken nugget shaped Tetris. Tetris. You like chicken, don't you? Do you like some chicken? She's saying no because she knows these are peanut butter flavored. There you go. But yes, this is exclusive in China. So off we go. Costs about $4 with a Happy Meal. I love chicken nuggets. It is my go-to meal anytime we go to McDonald's. It's her favorite as well, when when you go to McDonald's. Yes, because she ends up getting at least two. Because she can't finish the whole thing. Anyway, if anyone's coming over from China soon, mm -hmm. as someone from PCBWay is, com actually, coming, yeah. is actually coming to visit us, Elaine from PCBWay, PCBWay, Way. over there in China. <laughs> But yeah, she hopefully she'll bring us one of these if she sees this. In other news, Super Mario World. <laughs> What's it called? Super Mario Brothers Wonder. No wonder I couldn't remember. It's coming out in October, October 23rd, and you'll be pleased to see they've uh, gone back to the more traditional 2D. Um, Super, Super Mario World is what I was going for, kind of style. This is so pretty. Yeah. Beautiful music as well. I know that pretty is not usually a term often used to describe video games or no, Mario, but this is beautiful. Now, and you can play as any one of the four players, including Peach, I believe, which you can't usually do. So there it is. Wow, this is pretty. Oh! Warp zone. Oh, Can't chaos. wait to try that out. All right, Super Mario World Wonder coming not soon, but in October. And uh, speaking of things that are coming up, we just want to thank you guys so much for such heartfelt messages of support for Baby Fractic. Or my Space Invader. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, right now, Space Invader. Um, coming soon. But seriously, we've, we've had some incredible um, gifts through the baby registry and just really touching messages. Yeah. Uh, it is a wonderful community that we are uh, fostering here. Is yeah. that the right word? It's more of a puppy term, isn't it? But Puppy Fractic's very grateful as well. So seriously, a heartfelt thank you to all of you for your supportive words and gifts and thoughts. We're just so appreciative. Every, every message, every, you know, all the effort really comes through and we really appreciate it. And, um, we know that she will also. Yeah, we tried showing her some of the messages, but she couldn't see it through the stomach lining. But um, <laughs> wait, it's not a stomach, is it? What's that thing babies grow in, darling? A, a womb. A womb, yeah, she couldn't see it through the... Which one's the spleen? Uh, it's something back here that makes bile, right? I, I see what you spleen. Anyway, she couldn't. Um, but yeah, seriously, thank you. Uh, it means the world to us. And from wombs to rooms, rooms downstairs, because we're about to find out what Josie has fallen for in... I see, I see what you mean. We'll see what he means. Yeah. First up. That's the room I meant downstairs. That's where gotcha. Josie went. <laughs> On vacation for Josie. Uh, Speaking of Josie. Yeah. This is the face for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoever made that genius. 
Now, Arnie, of course, was back last month for uh, his little Whitney Houston uh, AI tribute. He's so, very good. Uh, this month, he's just he's a bit more static. He's doing bark. I'll be bark. Um, but speaking of which, <laughs> someone who will also be back is David Tennant, coming up soon in December, I think, for the, I can't wait. the special uh, three episodes that he's starring in. But this is the leaked uh, footage from oh, that. <laughs> I do hope nobody was in that portal when it took off. I hope so as well. For and another dimension. Yeah, and anybody who's in the vicinity for all of the um, biohazards that flew out of it. Goodness. I, I hope they're okay. You really thought that thought through what, everything. That well, you can see it there. spray out. Yeah. We don't. Interesting. We don't go to the loo through our TARDIS. We go through that door instead. We do. Yeah. <laughs> Strangely. Um, anyway, now look at this. Uh, a man getting bit by an alligator and he screams. We use the Wilhelm scream and the original recording has just been found. Listen to this. Ah! Ah! This is the original session. The first one you did up here was much better. Oh! No, no, not, not an owl. A real scream. Pain. Ah! That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> and that's just incredible to me that that's such an iconic sound effect that's been obviously so many classic movies and episodes of retro recipes yes. uh, and um, someone was cataloging tapes for a museum and they came across the original tape and digitized it for the world to enjoy so well done you can you imagine that moment of actually discovering it just listening play. to it and being like man bitten by alligator this sounds that's familiar <laughs> Of course, Wilhelm was the character that was bit by the alligator and dragged under the water um, from that original sound effect. Yeah, no, he's not going to get you. You'll be okay. We yeah. don't have many alligators here in Los Angeles. Um, not many, no. Just, just in the zoo. Next up, darling, we are getting this old. <laughs> you know, we will be doing this. Hello? <laughs> Yep, you nailed it, kid. <laughs> Is that one for me? Just Ooh. swipe it like a credit card. Oh, <laughs> and he did his own Wilhelm screen there. You can see we don't just throw this show together. We did mostly do. <laughs> she doesn't even know not only not what a cassette player is, but who Woody Harrelson is. No, she doesn't. She thinks he was in Toy Story. <laughs> Next up. You. The peaceful is willing to. You let me feeling sad. I can't walk last with you. You are road for running about. Because ratio. Because ratio. Because your conduct and actions. The plan of your future. Yeah. Stop right away. Ask you to come back. I love you. Oh, we got that one. You follow Z together! You take him to come to want to kill off me here! It's not! But in her walks, the peaceful is willing to. Put in her walks. Is you let her rebel me? This is your own masterpiece. That's actually a good line. Yeah. A lot of this reminds me of what it would sound like if Yoda narrated yeah. the whole thing. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like she's very backwards. Yeah, but that's very cool. <laughs> uh, oh, she's embarrassed about this one. Look. So we've bought Puppy Fractic some shoes, and this was her first uh, attempt at wearing them. Look. <laughs> I was trying to make her feel better by joining in, but she soon got the hang of it. Don't worry, here she is on hot, hot tarmac. Which she could not feel thanks to the shoes. Yeah. Usually we wouldn't have been able to park in this no. parking lot or car park. But look, beautiful. <laughs> she just does this horsey prance. And here you can see she's delighted to be wearing them. Uh, they're a very happy puppy splute. There. Also, the floor was ice cold, so she was trying to get as much yeah. surface area. She loves that. Oh, oh speaking, speaking of surface area, as she loses most of hers under her, uh, it's time for us to lose the memes. And do you want to do some fun boxings? 
How rude. And about six weeks ago, or maybe two months ago now, Glastonbury took place in the UK, and a headlining act caught here on camera was our very own, and the game closet's very own, Harley Factor. Wow. Yeah, this is the actual footage. Now, they're not just going to watch her on a screen, because... <laughs> here she goes. Well, I guess it will be nice. She's turned into a right diva in, with all her fame, hasn't she? She really has. <laughs> and there's a Wham! movie that just came out. No, I didn't know about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Should put that in old news. Where were you five minutes ago? I d <laughs> <laughs> well, Wham! Bam! Thank you, Harley Fractic Ma'am. Um, that was fantastic. I love that so much. But that's not the only uh, little fan of ours that has been making some content for us. Because our first unboxing comes from patron Carl Botrigi and his kid, Addy Fractic, who we saw probably over a year ago last on the channel. But they've actually unboxed something for us. Ooh. So let's take a look. What is it? <gasps> Oh, <laughs> so many people have written in about this. Look what we've got. We've got our own kit. What are we going to call it? There's a puppy fractic. Kitty. Kitty fractic. So we've got a kitty good, fractic. Good one, so we've got all the characters. Oh, I'm there. We get Devon's work area. Was that you? It turns Fine. around, so it yeah. says night, and then it flips around and says something else. Well, you think that's lady fractic, don't you? Yeah. Oh. So that must mean then that that's very frank. Whatever you say, Carl. <laughs> Got the right hair. There's the inside. Got the right hair. And <laughs> the scanner on the front works too. <laughs> we built it. Wow. That's One, nice. yeah. two. Ooh. I like how that lights up. Yeah. Do you want some help? Cool. <laughs> It's convertible. It's very cool. You mean perifractic? Oh, peri I mean perifractic, yes. Thank you for coming. Very right, Carl. Very good. <laughs> yeah, that's the fax. That's the fax machine inside. Love it. It's got a picture of Michael on it. Amazing. The retro shows is all done. Okay. Bye, perifractic. Bye, lady fractic. Bye, puppy fractic. Bye, baby. Have a nice day. Why are you rubbing your belly? She said bye, baby. Oh, I forgot there's a baby in there. Oh, I don't. I don't. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> how, how much has your brain shrunk, they say, in pregnancy? 10%. That's what she told me this yesterday, and it made a lot of sense for me because I think I've been having sympathetic symptoms as well because I can't get half of my rights word either. <laughs> so. They call it pregnancy brain for a reason. You, yeah. you genuinely forget the words for basic things like and just processing <laughs> and you just stare at something and you're like, why Why did I come into this room? I've been doing that for decades anyway. <laughs> You've been pregnant for decades. <laughs> Pregnancy brain. Anyway, so we've got to get rid of this. Mm -hmm. Ready? Perfect. Way to go. And first up, would you mind grabbing that very special black package? And while Lady Fractic unboxes this, I'm going to tell you all about it. 
So this is a very special donation and gift from Gadget Discovery Club. Gadget Club. <laughs> Gadget Discovery Club is all about excitement. You wake up, you eat, you go to work, you go home, you go to sleep. It kind of gets boring after a while. So the idea here is you get this gadget box delivered every month with some cool things to discover. What is that? Like smoothie maker? Smoothie. From the moment you join GDC, the excitement begins. And every quarter you get a different theme. So the theme with this box is... I want to say self, like health. You've health. got a humidifier yeah. and a smoothie. Maybe? No, you got it exactly right. Oh, I was guessing. This is cool. You know, we were just talking about getting a humidifier for the baby's room. That's actually fantastic. Gadget Discovery Club, how did you know? That That's beautiful. Yeah. And although this, this stuff isn't retro, we thought that you guys would like it because we love gadgets. We can't imagine you guys don't as well. So you get one to four gadgets worth over $125 every time. You can actually join quarterly or you can join the annual plan. I think annu annual, <laughs> careful how I say that, annual members get some very special benefits as well. Now you can keep the gadgets for yourself or give them to friends and family, which in a way would mean you don't have to think about buying gifts for family ever again. Yeah. Uh, Grandma, if you're watching this, just turn, turn off right now get discounts off things from brands like Alienware. Did you know the one of the co-founders of Alienware, if you're watching, hi, is one of our viewers Ooh. as well, which is pretty cool. Very cool. Uh, it's a small world when it comes down to it. And we hope you like these not small gadgets from Gadget Discovery Club. If you sign up right now using the code Retro Recipes in the UK or USA or Canada or Europe, <laughs> wherever that is, uh, you'll get around $20, 20 pounds off your first subscription. Very cool. I'm excited. I already know what I'm going to make with these two. Yeah, but that isn't it for unboxings because next up we've got something very retro and very Commodore 64 in that small white box. What could it be? Um, why don't I open it and find out? <laughs> so this is from Andreas Hector and it says, Dear Perry Freck, I've been following your channel for many years now. Come on. Your honest and pure joy to see how you realize your retro product, no matter if it's a replica of your childhood room or building the first oh, wow. really brand new C64 after 40 years. It is inspiring for me. That's why I really enjoy watching your channel because it gives me back the feeling from back then in my childhood when the world was still so simple and with only very simple problems of a student. So um, in forum64.de, Oliver W. introduced the enclosed cartridge and organized a collective order. So I thought this would be the perfect little gift for you to say thank you for the joy your channel gives me. But since I don't know how to solder at all, and I guess that's part of the fun for you, I'm only enclosing the kit. The EEPROM has been made ready to be used by Oliver W. And then you have a brand new cartridge for the brand new Commodore 64. Please keep your channel going for many years to come. Your community and I love you for it exactly the way it is. With all the joys and the little jokes. Aww. Greetings also to your beautiful and wonderful wife, Lady Fractic. Happy Fractic. And of course, your four-legged friends. Give them a big hug for me. Aww, bless Who are you going to call? Perry Fractic. <laughs> she liked that when you said that. Look at this. And that's how it would look when it was assembled. Oh, very cool. I want to get the soldering iron out right now. Don't. You can do it later. This would make a nice little Quick Bites product when, when baby arrives and we have slightly less time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this would be fantastic for that. Thank you so much, Andreas, for the gifts and for your very kind words. That was Andreas from Germany. Das ist gut, ja? Ja. Dankeschön. Dankeschön. Sprechen Sie Deutsch? Yeah, I would yeah. imagine he I does. Imagine he does. <laughs> All right. Now, next up, we have two items from the same donor. So get doning. A man getting bit by an alligator and he screamed. Ooh. Oh, look at this. So this is from... You talk? Oh. Oh. Wait a minute. There's... Hold on. Oh, wait. So these are arcade gaming keycaps. So you've got the WASD for your usual up, down, left, right. Yeah. And all these options so you can customize your keyboard however you want. This is beautiful for the um, yeah. space bar. 
and uh, there's a willy rifle button. <laughs> She's not kidding. Now, thank God I have my stethoscopes to look at. That's your endoscope. <laughs> my willy rifle. Ah, oh, good. <laughs> what do you make of that? Yeah, I do like start the game right there. <clears throat> start the next level. This is, this is so cool. All right. Okay. This is very heavy. This. And one minute starting now. Oh, I've been waiting for this one. Ooh. Another retro mechanical industrial retro futurism style <laughs> keyboard. Didn't know how many adjectives you were going to use. Just four. All right, are you ready? Ta da! For nothing. Quick guide. That was quick. So this says Nufi Studio is a small company founded by a group of boring guys. When we can't make interesting products, the studio will no longer exist. Well, that's not going to happen for a while. Looking at no. judging by this. But I just love that get it, motto. Get it out. Ew. Look at this. Okay. It is very, very heavy. That's beautiful. So it is designed for field work, but I, I think it's more about the aesthetics of it. Look at this, man. Sorry, not a man, but still. Look at the knobs. Uh, so 75% refers to the size of the keyboard. 100% is 104 keys with the number. Oh, add. okay. And it goes down, you know, incrementally in percentage. Ooh, sounds good too. I just said hello there for anyone wondering. I always do that. That's beautiful. Thank you, Newfie. Thank you, TikTok Key Talk. Uh, thank you to Harley. Uh, there's so many people. Addy Fractic, Harley Fractic, Puppy Fractic, yes. And of course, Gadget Discovery Club and Pushy B Way. <laughs> Good girl. She knows to get out of the way. way, way. With the fun boxing done, it's time for a nice, delicious bowl of home brews. Oh, it's time for home brews. <laughs> Yay, we won that one. <laughs> That's probably on account of my willy rifle. I'm sure it was. Now, this is Chris Duffield, otherwise known as Dematerializer. Um, and this is him with his ZX Spectrum. Mm. And here he is. <gasps> you, you might remember that he showed, we showed this before. This was his TARDIS yes. that he built in his living room. I just get excited every time I see a TARDIS because... A, a real one. We, well, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look to your right. Um, but he has shared some of his retro collection with wow. us, which is exceedingly cool. But what's really cool is this. So he was trying, he saw a video about recreating my childhood bedroom computer setups. And he wanted to do the same, but he did it virtually. So he created this. This is an actual mock-up of his bedroom, the shelves, the games he had, the disc box, the mouse, the whole thing. But rather cleverly, he made this PC Gamer Mag that he used to subscribe to, clickable, so you can load up any game on the emulator, and that's his software recreation of his old PC. That's so cool. Running Doom. But can it run Crisis? <laughs> probably can if it's, sure if it's can. running in an emulator. The Sampo brand, which probably was Sanyo, he was probably worried about probably, advertising yeah. <laughs> issues on the retro show. I had a Sanyo TV when I was a kid too. You mean Sampo? Sam I had a Sampo TV when I was yes. a kid too. And thank you also for the uh, sponsorship, Ratchet Discovery Cub. <laughs> um, now look at this. This clever chappy is Francesco Splendorio, and he's done this Splendorid, Splendid Chat GPT video with the Commodore 64. So he's doing it by accessing a BBS, which has ChatGPT built in. It is atdtbbs.retrocampus.com, port 6510. So you choose your language. And you get a terminal with um, ChatGPT. So here it is, the most advanced AI that we is still blowing us away to this day. Essentially running through a Commodore 64 That's in real, amazing. real time. Oh. Ooh. Yep, 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 all correct. Perfect. <laughs> That's really cool though. I, I love that. 
You both look so expectant. <laughs> and one of you is. Um, next up, dude, that works like for reals, LOL. This is a little product. We'll put the link in the description. I'm still trying to find it, but I think we'll find it. Oh my it. gosh, you can play full movies. It's a real retro TV with a OLED screen. Change channel. It comes with a little oh. remote control. Change the channel. Volume. Love it. That's so cool. Thanks for sharing that, Southern Gothic. D dot dot dot. We'll never know. Um, that is really cool. It's just the things the community comes up with. Really cool stuff there. And that means it is time to switch off that little TV and switch off homebrews. But we've got some lovely stuff coming up in the gallery and more Night Rider stuff in Nostalgia Flakes. So would you like that tasty bowl now? Yes. Mm. <laughs> there, there it is. I'm just getting the gallery up. There it is. All right. Love this. Who's this? This is Mike. He's got an Amiga 2000 and Atari 1040 STE, and he's reading an Amiga magazine. Did J.K. Rowling see that photo as well many years oh, ago? because he looks like Harry Potter. <laughs> Just a little bit. Playing Japanese NES in Mongolia. Yeah. Fantastic. We'll take your word for it. Can't see the NES there. That's a TRS-80, yeah. It's an 8-bit computer released by Tandy in America, yeah. Very sweet. And this is also his dog. Look, who's that? Much more modern who's day. Who's this here? That's Koa. Right here. It's Koa. Right here. There's a dog. I love right the haircut. There. <laughs> you missed the doggy. So he's looking away. Greg is looking away because he has a present on his left that he's pretending to be interested in for the photo. I think it's like an electronics kit. From Gadget Discovery Club or <laughs> was it a Ghostbusters cartridge? Two bros playing international karate by Carl Betragi, father of Hadi Fractic, uh, as mentioned earlier. Love it. Great photo. I love this photo. Just the legs up. The, the legs, the wood paneling. Laptop, Vic 20. Tweed chair, just living his best comfy life. <laughs> what we would all give to go back there, eh? Uh, run time machine. <laughs> Did it work? I mean, <laughs> can't tell being in this room. Ah, uh, love it. So next up, <laughs> we had, of course, the Knight Rider anime and the Comlink last month. So a little gas pun there. He sees the prices and he becomes Nightwalker. <laughs> now, are those prices in... Yeah, I don't know what that converts to. Like, if that's... That could be Norwegian Krona for all I know. It... <laughs> <laughs> Night the Walker. joke is funny. It's funny. Uh, which leads us into this from Shmuel Harvey, one of our supporters as well. Hey, Shmuel, thank you for all your support. Um, he noticed, of course, Katesla, as I mentioned, could be read as for people who like flying kites in LA. And he said, oh, what are you typing? <laughs> this is your first words. Sorry, big moment here. Puppy Factory just said her first words, and they were enter shift page up, page down. Hey, at least it wasn't <laughs> Willy Rifle. <laughs> That's a good point. But what does Schmuel say, darling? Perry Fractic is Michael Kite, the kite rider. Love it. Even if I'm Night Walker. I suppose. Kite Walker. Kite Walker. <laughs> Very good. Uh, and from that to this. Devin, what do you know about the truck robberies? Toretto's gang is armed and dangerous. Look, I've got Kit, and those racers can't get close to Kit. Kit, how do you feel about the street race, buddy? I was born to race, baby. Kit, I Paul swear Walker. I recognize that guy from back when I was a cop. My records indicate that his name is Brian O'Connor. What are you doing here, Brian? Don't blow my cover, Michael. Let's see what your black T-top is pushing. <laughs> okay, let's just cruise to the finish line for now. That's he thinks so he beat me! But I did, Toretto. Thank you. Your car can talk. Mr. Toretto, I know I won the race. Oh, crap. <laughs> Toretto, wait, like, and subscribe to Lampoonery for part two. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, rest in peace, you too. 
Um, he's made two more of those, uh, at least two more at the time of broadcasting this. So we're going to be featuring those in the upcoming episodes uh, of the show. And we'll link to them down in the description right now. Incredible stuff. Really incredible. Uh, and from Fast and the Furious, unfortunately, I hope you don't get furious because it's time for us to say goodbye from the retro show. Uh, thank you so much for watching, as always. Subscribe and support below and cheerio. Cheerio. One man can make a difference, Perry. Or one woman. Or dog. The Fractics. Lone curators in a vintage world. The world of retro recipes. Would you like to write cheerio?